Now, tonight, we begin our broadcast with yet another blow for President William Ruto's government. The Court of Appeal has rendered the Finance Act 2023 unconstitutional, null and void for failing to consider views of the public on various sections. Now, the three-judge bench of Justices Kathurim uh, Katharina Kinoti, Minotti, Agnes Murgor, and John Motivo found that Parliament failed to follow laid out procedure to leg of legislation by introducing new sections without conducting public participation on them. This now means that the government could face difficulty in raising nearly 300 billion shillings to finance the national budget. Let's begin our broadcast with our very own Sam Gitugu. It's been a season of setbacks for President William Ruto's administration. Over the last one year, most of the regime's decisions challenged and defeated in court. In the Finance Act of 2023, enacted in June last year, the Electronic Tax Invoice Management System, ETIMS, was introduced for business persons. The law made changes to the management of value-added tax while raising the VAT on fuel. The law also introduced new tax bans on pay as you earn. All these have now been rendered unconstitutional. The VAT on fuel was revised from 8% to 16%, raising fuel prices in the country. On the pay as you earn, the government introduced a higher taxation for persons earning over half a million shillings per month, attracting up to 32.5% of tax. For those earning above 800,000 shillings per month, the maximum tax was raised to 35%. This too has been rendered unconstitutional. The High Court last year had declined to find the pay as you earn revision unconstitutional, saying it was a policy matter that the court did not have jurisdiction over. The Court of Appeal disagreed with the High Court. The government intended to raise up to 311 billion shillings from the Finance Act 2023. According to the Kenya Revenue Authority, revenues rose by 241 billion shillings in the year between July 2023 and June 2024, partly due to the Finance Act 2023. According to the three-judge bench, there are several sections in the Act that were introduced way after public participation on the original bill. The court says they are unconstitutional, null and void, for the reason that the new sections were never subjected to fresh public participation. The court found that the new sections were enacted in total violation of the constitutionally laid down legislative path. The court's decision reads in part, Accordingly, we hereby issue a declaration that the enactment of the Finance Act 2023 violated Articles 221A and 221 of the Constitution as read with sections of the Public Finance Management Act, which prescribes the budget-making process, thereby rendering the ensuing Finance Act 2023 fundamentally flawed and therefore void ab initio and consequently unconstitutional. The decision on the Finance Act 2023 comes hot on the heels after President Ruto withdrew the Finance Bill 2024, which Parliament subsequently deleted all the clauses. That decision cost the government a projected 344 billion shillings in revenue. The Court of Appeals' decision on the Finance Act 2023 could lead to a further loss of revenue of up to 300 billion shillings. This house is law abiding. And therefore, if the fallback position that we will have is the revenue raising measures for two years ago, it therefore means we also have to adjust our expenditure to be that of two years ago, Honorable Speaker. When I read that judgment this afternoon, Honorable Speaker, I was left wondering and asking myself, does it mean then that all acts of parliament passed by this house post 2010 then are also annullity in law and unconstitutional? The court, however, declined to issue orders for tax refunds, saying it was never a question for consideration of the high court. The judges added that once laws have been passed by parliament, they are presumed constitutional until the moment they are found not to be by the courts. As to the housing tax, the judges found that since a new law, the Affordable Housing Act of 2024, has since been enacted, the provisions of the housing tax in the Finance Act 2023 was no longer an issue. Sam Gitukosurizen TV, Nairobi.